Hey guys, and welcome to another Lord of the Rings Rise to War video. Uh, I know I just posted one earlier while I was at work, had a quick break. Uh, we're home now, and we're, hey, Evie, Evie, hey, look. we got our, we got our puff show with us. Evie, don't be camera shy. <laughs> hey, mama. We got the puppy with us, and uh, or the doggo. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I just was seeing some EJ Boog stuff with the Soonin videos he's posted. And uh, I kind of wanted to comment on those. I I've talked to several YouTubers and they always say that one of the hardest things is them trying to do commander videos and share reports. Because the reports generally, reports get so criticized from the gear disparity, from the level disparity, from the... Um, troop composition disparity from the respect level disparity so it is tough to put up those reports and then not have to wade through you know every commenter saying well this is different and that's different and this is different um but i just kind of wanted to talk on soon and for 30 seconds or a minute or whatever i really do think she's a strong commander um i've lost to her plenty of times i think i've won once or twice i'm not really salty about it because i think tier uh, evil kind of you know evil has witch king and sauron and there are other other commanders but i kind of think she embodies a lot like witch king and, and sauron she embodies what a tier three should do like a tier three should be you should be scared of facing a tier three commander and i think the game needs more of her and you know and on good side and evil but i feel like we have you know tier one dwallen that with you know built in burn protection or if you slap a focus chest on him or a blinding barrier helm can stack up against a tier three Sauron or tier three Witch King. And I think it just kind of waters down what it takes to really get those tier three commanders, especially with the new respect system. Um, you know, granted you pull them a little easier now, but most commanders you know, at tier three are not ready to go out of the gate. So um, I do like Sunan. Uh, I have her at R3. I, I, I started the game playing role play and then I've... Um, pretty much been non-role play since my season four um but yeah so i think i think soon is as powerful as she needs to be there's definitely a balance that can be questioned in all things but tier threes should be much better than tier one and twos otherwise the tier system just continues to kind of be meaningless when you have commanders that with the proper gear or double the respect level can just clown on them. I just, I do think there needs to be a threat and an, an edge to tier threes. And Sunin's a great example of how you can make that possible. So yeah, keep it up. Give us more commanders that are more dangerous to use or dangerous to face. And that actually like you feel good about using, especially when it takes forever to get them unlocked. So, all right guys, take care.